We won't be able to boost economic growth in Togo if we do not boost agriculture in Togo. Togo steps out from a long socio-political crisis which has articulated its social fabric and damaged its economy. Recent years have seen a renewed cooperation with the international community which offers new opportunities to foster economic development. In order to reduce poverty and improve food security, the government decided to make the agricultural sector a top priority as it concerns over 70% of the population and contributes up to 40% to the GDP. In 2009, Togo led the way in West Africa by signing the first CAADP, Comprehensive Africa Agriculture Development Programme, compact in the sub-region and rallying the ECOAP process, Economic Community of West Africa State's Agricultural Policy, with the objective of achieving an annual agricultural growth of 6% by 2015. The financial and technical partners of Togo found an opportunity to give concrete expression to the belief that agriculture can bring expansion, create incomes and reduce poverty. Six months later, the government of Togo convened a large conference which included the participation of the technical and financial partners to sign a more refined and pragmatic program, the PINYASA, or Togo's National Agricultural Investment and Food Security Program. With a partnership framework confirming the Togolese option under the World Bank leadership. What we intend to do in Togo is to set up a framework for PNIASA that other partners may join to assist the government in achieving a number of projects. The first three projects we drew up to give concrete expression to the PNIASA have taken into account the five PNIASA sub-programs. According to the Paris Statement principles, which aims for harmonization and synergy of the actions, these sub-programs are considered by three complementary projects. Agricultural Development Support Project in Togo, PADAT, Agricultural Sector Support Project, PASA, and the West African Agricultural Productivity Programme, WAP, called PPAO in French. PADAT is the first realization of technical and financial partner support on the field. Donors involved include the International Fund for Agricultural Development, the West African Development Bank, and the ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development, with additional financing from the Global Agriculture and Food Security Programme, GAFSP. The project mainly concerns the most vulnerable farmers. It started on a countrywide basis with supply of inputs to the benefit of rice and maize farmers. This operation, called Quick Start, will impact 50,000 smallholder farmers. Helping to produce, to transform, to store, but also to deliver and to market the products, such are the aims of the PADAT project. At the same time, the Togolese government and the World Bank have set up an additional project, the Agriculture Sector Support Project, PASA, which aims at valuing the productions. It gathers funding from the GAFSP, the Global Food Crisis Response Programme, and the World Bank. As food producing crops are a key source of subsistence for small producers, PASA has chosen to invest in their processing and selling on national and regional markets. PASA also deals with export crops and plans to reinforce their organization and production. PASA also deals with mainland fishing. Mainland fishing suffered downfall dropping by 75% since the end of the 1990s. 
As regards to animal production, the principal actions undertaken have had to do with vaccination against endemic diseases. Mortality rates amount to 80% in traditional poultry farming and drop to 20% if chickens get vaccinated and dewormed. It is the WAP, West Africa Agricultural Productivity Programme, called PPAO in French, that aims at generating and disseminating improved technologies within the PINIASA. Its objective is to make West African agriculture more productive and sustainable with the World Bank support. Togo subscribed to this project for two reasons its low agricultural productivity and the weak capacity of its national agricultural research system. So the WAP aims at strengthening these research systems via two dedicated institutes, ITRA, Agricultural Research Institute of Togo, and ICAT. Coordinated by Togo's Ministry of Agriculture, the Pinyasa is well underway today. Since 2010, the government of Togo has rolled out an agricultural public investment programme allocating 10% of the budget to the agricultural sector. The project is expected to directly benefit some 60,000 farmers, 13,000 breeders and 1,600 fishermen, which will ensure a large choice of locally produced food to the urban population. The programme will also promote good governance and the new political and economic post-crisis environment will empower Togo to take up the challenge. That is why the government of Togo hopes to see the technical and financial partners build the broadest alliance to help implementing the Pinyasa and handle agriculture as the masterpiece of the economy of Togo. Pinyasa is a means to contribute significantly to food security, but it's also a means to generate decent income to the two-thirds of the population who depends on the agricultural sector.